Hi guys, welcome back to another Monday plan with me. So we're going into the first week of July, which is the 3rd to the 9th, and I'm using another kit from Planable Designs. I did use one of her kits last week, but this is the Me Time kit, which I love. So this is your bottom washi and your washi strips, your full box sheets, which are gorgeous, half boxes, two weekly ombres, appointment labels, icons, weekend banner and page flags, then obviously your ombre hut checklists, littles and headers, and then here you've got three habit trackers, a build you, movie marquee, an extra full box and your checklists. And then this also came with some amazing glitter headers and date covers. So it's going to be a little bit of a different plan with me this week. I'm actually going to try and colour block, which I have never done before, so I'm actually a little nervous. So normally I plan kind of mixing my colours and with white space, so this is going to be a whole new experience for me. So it was the kit that actually inspired me to do colour blocking this week. Not that this kit is designed specifically for colour block planners. It was, I'm not sure what it was, but it just kind of drew me and I thought, you know what, I'm going to try and do colour blocking because I've seen other people do it and it looks super pretty. So I really like the quote at the bottom. Normally when there's a quote, I don't use washi at the bottom because I like it. I use it at the top. However, this week's spread, the colours match the kit perfectly but I do love the washi, so I am still going to cover the date dots at the top and then use the date covers that came with the kit. So the day covers actually come on one long strip, so it's just a single sticker that you stick along the top, which I haven't used those before, but actually they were a lot easier and they're all the same length, so I actually prefer them that way. I've never used glitter headers either, so I was really excited to try using those as well and then I went ahead and stuck in my ombre heart checklists all the way along the top matching the colours. I did think I went wrong at one point but I think it's just because I'm not used to it. Then as I was putting the headers in underneath or the glitter headers I didn't like that it was so close to the checklist so I just moved them down onto the black line that's in my happy planner and I preferred that kind of little thin white gap of space. So going in day by day, I started off with a green appointment label to mark down to upload this plan with me. Then I took a half box because my son has got a year six leave of service because he's about to leave primary school and start the high school. So I had to mark down that we needed to go to that service. I also had an important phone call to make because my daughter is also starting her work experience. It's like crazy in my house at the moment. And she is going to be working at a theater. So I needed to call them and see what time her shift was going to start. Then as usual I like to section off a piece of time for the homework situation and for that I actually used these hair grips that came on the deco sheet with the kit. For Tuesday I took a glitter quarter box to mark down that my son is sitting his final end of year exams. Then I was meeting up with my friend for coffee and I didn't want to put two half boxes together so I ended up using a strip of washi and the big coffee cup that came on the deco sheet and then I put the half box underneath so it wasn't like the same and it freed up a little bit of space. I feel like I'm all over the place in this plan with me because I'm not used to colour blocking at all and I didn't want to use the wrong colour on the wrong day. But I stuck down my full box and then I put down a glitter half box because I needed to mark down that we had to pack for my son to go on his trip and he leaves on Wednesday. So for Wednesday, I put down a half box to write down that obviously he was leaving on his trip. My son had another exam on this day, so I just put down another quarter box in the glitter. Then all I really had to do was upload my YouTube. So all I done was stuck my glitter header down and then my full box. And it wasn't until I was about to stick my YouTube sticker down, which is what I always use, it's just for my personal collection, and I realised it was pink and I couldn't use it. So in the end, I went with this kind of little kawaii computer screen. I did flick through the kit and there wasn't really anything to mark down to upload or computer or anything, so I just took the kawaii one that I had from my personal kit. So for Thursday, I feel like I can sew down a little bit. That was a bit jumbled. But Thursday, I started kind of from the bottom upwards so I knew what space I had left. So I put my glitter header in first with this gorgeous full box. I love this box. I then took an appointment label and these multi bin icons. I can't remember what the shop's called, but I'll link it down below. I just took the bin icon because I need to mark that I was taking the bins out. I also had a TV program on this day and I wanted to work on my stickers. So I just stuck down a half box. For Friday I was going out shopping with my sister so I definitely wanted to use a half box 
but I put some washi behind it and I just stuck it down onto this sticker paper first because sometimes it's easier if you do it like this and then you can pick it up as a whole sticker rather than place them down and pull them up lots of times in your planner if you get them a bit wrong. Even though you'll see I have to pull it up anyway because it kept going in the wrong place. But if you don't have to pull them up 50,000 times like I did, then it is easier doing it on the sticker paper rather than in your planner. So I forgot that I needed to mark down that me and my daughter watch a chick flick every Friday so I definitely had to move the box yet again to put that in. I then chose my full box and then moved on to the weekend. So I took two pieces of washi and put them under the glitter header just as a background behind my weekend banner. And then starting from the bottom again I put in my glitter headers first, I was making sure I had the right colour. And then I was just deciding which full boxes to use, so I went with the hair grip one and this really nice pastel green colour one. So for Saturday I usually have a half box in case we end up doing anything, I'm not sure if my partner's working yet or not, so I've just put that in and left it blank. Then I was going to try and put a checklist in and then I remembered I've actually got my checklist all above so I didn't need to put any in there. I went back to the Friday and put in a half box because that's when my son comes home from his trip. I added a TV, small little things on the Saturday and then I moved on to mark down my planning time when I was next going to film the plan with me. Moving on to my sidebar, I wanted to put two glitter headers down as a kind of a background or a border so again I used my sticker paper just to mark it down and then pick it up as a whole sticker. Then I moved on for my habit tracker which is something that I always use and also my next week section. They're the two things that I always have in my sidebar. I did try to keep the sidebar similar in colour. I'm not sure if other colour block planners do it this way or if they kind of have their sidebar and mix and match. I couldn't remember so I decided just to try and keep it at least all blue. So I took this washi which I really liked so I kept it as kind of a picture rather than splitting it up. And then I managed to use one of these ombre weekly boxes, which I never normally know how to do. But I've used it just to track my meals, which was a little bit wonky, so I'm just redoing it there. Now I'm moving on and adding all of the deco. The deco is pretty big, but I do like it and I do have quite a lot of space left. So I'm just filling up little gaps and placing them here and there. Looking at my planner, I'm not sure if I'm 100% sold on the colour blocking, although this is my first time doing it, but I don't think I've done colour blocking planner people any justice. So please don't be offended if you are a colour blocker. I did try my hardest and I mainly kept to the colours on the right days, I think. I hope. But now, this is it before I've filled it in with pen, so I'm just going to go ahead to turn off the camera and fill it out. And then this is everything that I know what's happening so far. And then this is what I have got left from the kit. So I did use actually quite a lot. So you, I think you use more things if you are a colour blocker, especially if you're on no white space, I feel like you're gonna use pretty much all of these stickers. So I may do a no white space plan with me if I can work myself up to it and be brave enough. But this is how far or how much I use, sorry, of the kit this week. And here is a close-up look of this week's spread. If you did like this very different plan with me, then please give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more plan with me's and I will see you all next week with a normal plan with me, I promise. <laughs> Bye guys.